hello everyone welcome back to our channel outlander adventures so this is with regards to the blue armor software finally we received an email from blue armor stating that there is a firmware update and a fix and also the android software which is necessary uh, looks like blue armor has submitted this um, verification with google play store long back but still it's pending uh, and there's another update which says that it's available already on the ios uh, app store for Android it is still pending so meanwhile when it's happening you can go ahead and manually download and install to install this it's an APK so it's not directly from Google so it, it might request you to acknowledge that so I'll go ahead and download it at my own risks and when you try to install it's around 229 MB of uh, file uh, c50 beta app so APK and then it will try to install go ahead with the installation that works for you right package install to open it and here we go unknown starting app uh, this at times will ask you whether you want to allow it you need to click ok basically it's against the drive and then say install so here you go it's installing the software once you open you can link desired account that you have that you need I'll go with one of my accounts here um, it's basically asking you to allow and also turn on did find the device I had already connected this via Bluetooth so this is the device right say next here Yeah, I think now it's bad. Both on purple, so it's bad now. So lights, hazard lights, or how you need it, brake lights. You can also turn it off. Do it later onwards, I guess. So as soon as you launch the app, that's how it looks. It has basically the device name on top. This is the right grid hazard light. If you switch it on, it's basically the lights mode, which will show up. You have options of selecting colors, hazard mode just on and off, right? And uh, this one here has different variations depending upon rider, you can have different colors. So for now, I'll turn it off and go back. You have the music play, you have the volume control, uh, Google Assist, I guess and on top okay i was trying to use this right grid let's see the settings you have this emergency crash detection setup looks like currently i'm not able to do anything with that but maybe because this is a beta maybe at a later stage you'll be able to see so i try to pair it with the other device as well that is c30 the app seems a bit glitchy currently or from the try and test which I did it still does not do um, behave normal as of now uh, this will change because this is beta version so it will change so currently it is the C50 Pro which is connected um, so even after that as you see the device is not detected by the app let me try restarting the app and what does this do it still does not like the it's not detecting the app here and there it's a bit glitchy okay there you go it detected it now let me also try to switch on the basic e right grid it says requires a good cell uh, cell network this is still says coming soon so it's not going to work as of now so here we have the c50 but in this application of c50 i'm not able to detect the other device that is uh, c30 and one other thing if anyone has tried it using the c30 and it works please drop it in the comment uh, what what changed or what what are the settings you have to do we'll please let me know if you get a chance but as of now in the new application the old device is not getting identified irrespective if i uninstall the other version of software 
I did try that it does not make a difference and even the right grid between C30 uh, and C50 seems to be not working uh, from what I observed um, I have two different phones I checked with both but it's not helping this will change for a period of time as as the software is probably still in beta but let's see how it goes so basically I was trying to connect the C50 and the C30 to the same right grid and checking if it gets connected so here's the thing uh, let me try starting this device and also the C50 at the same time this is already paired with uh, this device here so it should get connected pretty quick here yeah it's connected and this is also connected to other device now let me launch the apps for both right now once i do that this will take 30 seconds or so to get connected this one is pretty fast as usual old device i've almost used this for one year now now let me try to switch on right grid here i have created a public group and a private group while i was testing i'll switch this to public for now and then we'll come back so this is all set the bluetooth is connected let me try restarting the app If not, I'll also give a restart to the device. Let me restart the device. That would be a better option. Battery 90%. Battery 90%. Okay, the do this was disconnected. Let me also start this. The T stick, right? Now it's still trying to connect. It's not yet connected. On this, of course, you have the device already connected. Done. Right grid, public mode, right? What's up with you? Okay, it wants me to long press. I had done it, but yep, yeah, now it recognized it. It's back on. Yeah, hazard light working. All set now. Right grid on. It went on this device as well. Now, let me try launching. I'm trying to see if I can have both devices on the same right grid. This did not work earlier. I am not sure if it will still. But trying to demonstrate. So there is another method you can try to connect to a single device, right? Where you can switch to a private network. And then in the private network, uh, on the old C uh, th C30, right? C30. So what you can do is you can go ahead and basically invite someone in the new device i go ahead and scan and as soon as i scan what i had experiences app will crash this happened a couple of times but maybe this is a bug as of now maybe it will rectify in future i tried it the other way as well where you can try to join and this device into there so yeah now this device is connected here once i do that uh, like once the right grid does not switch on or application shuts down it does not like to switch on the right grid uh, on the C50 the only option is either disconnect and reconnect the device let me do that quickly here sorry about all the dogs parking at the back end yeah I'm switching it on back it's back on the device is connected I think this will also come up very soon yeah, it's connected as you see here, right? Now here, so let me try to try to connect right grid again. Now it got switched on after the uh, disconnect and reconnect of the device. Um, seems like this is a glitch or a temporary thing for now, but should get fixed. So now I can try to um, join this group from this device. Let me give that a try here. Switch to the other one and say invite rider. The new C50 provides me a uh, scan, the application for the C50. I can click here and uh, somewhere here I have the scan option. Click scan, try to scan. The same thing happens on the old software. It basically shuts down the software and the device disconnects and reconnects back. So I'm so far not successful in connecting these two devices, but do let me know if anyone else has tried it and it had worked for them um, but I have not tried using two C50s uh, I'm sure that should work but I was trying to basically 
connect the old device that is C50 with the C30. So far, I do not have had any success. Hopefully, this will change shortly. And let's see. I'll also ask them this query and see how it goes from there. Yeah. So yeah, I'll keep you posted if I hear back uh, from um, Blue Armor. So thank you. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.